Good morning. Welcome to my office. Today I would like to dwell on how we manage technology on the farm, how we link Gatekeeper into uh, our tractors, Gatekeeper being a desktop program which manages uh, boundaries, it records all of our pesticide uses and helps us keep track of costs too. Right, so this is our uh, Gatekeeper program where we record all of our um, operations and this is the mapping module. So if I click here, um, oops, the other way around, if I click here, we have a, for one of our contract farms, we have all the fields. So I'm just going to try and move it, center it up. To what I'd like to focus in on is this area here where we historically had a ditch. And this, we piped this ditch in this year in order that we can salvage this wet area here. And I just want to go through the process by which uh, we record these changes. Okay, so this is our gatekeeper screen. And up, up here you can see we um, click on the devices tab. And because we run John Deere on all of our machines, we've got a John Deere section here and underneath it we have the agribuggy tab so the sprayer has been out and recorded the boundary around the outside of the field and what we're going to do today is import that boundary into gatekeeper and then distribute it back out to the tractors so as you can see uh, the agribuggy has already been set up and we import it we've got it sitting on a usb so uh, you see they've got the F drive set up there, just click on it. And through Windows Explorer, go down, find the Agro buggy and uh, the, the gatekeeper profile. Now what happens next is it brings up all the different pieces of field information we have. So at the top here, you can see field boundaries, guidance lines, types of machinery, everything we need. So we're going to go down and uh, the field used to be called, so we'll find Long Meadow. We just want to check first that we're in that boundary. So we'll then click on Map Preview. As stated before, this is the bit of field that we're looking to amalgamate. And as you can see, the red line goes all the way around the outside now. So we find that field. So we take that field now, click import. Now this time it's open that screen straight away because it's not linked to a field. So in this gap at the top it says gatekeeper designation. So we need to allocate it to a field. So we've called this field Pete's Bog, I think. Not Dunstan, it must be in Graham. Down there's Pete's Bog. We highlight that field name, click OK. There it appears now in its destination. Import with preview, pops it straight up in this field around the outside. There you go with our new boundary all the way around the outside of the field. So we save that and OK to close this. Now we can go back to the field section 
and find the Pete's Borg or Pete's Hole. There we go. And from here we can go. So from here the field's opened and we can then go to the field section and we can click on this icon which shows uh, the sexton. We can click on field map and you can see the field now with the revised boundary. So we'll Okay, so here we are at the export phase now. So you start by going to devices, then choosing within John Deere our 7270 command center. There we go up to device sync and export. We start by checking the fields. So here, all of our different farms are highlighted and the relevant crops are also highlighted. Now, all of our fields have a guidance line. So we just check, just to trim guidance, what we're going to export. And then down to export. I need to change the drive, so we click at the top, down to the USB drive, select it, click OK, export, yes. The export has been successful, click close and OK. And now we go and transfer the data on the USB back into the 2630 on the tractor. OK. So it's worth explaining that we run on G uh, RCK GPS guidance. We should all move within the same six metre routes and um, as you can see from the screen um, John Deere also hold, gives us a uh, uh, plan of where the tram line should be you can see the green lines for tram lines and uh, we were a little bit worried that we couldn't get this on the current armrest screen but we got the update sorted out this week James has suggested that I show you this. So the previous pass was whipped by the sprayer and you can just about see the marks that uh, left by the previous pass and the fact that these wheels are going pretty close on to within, what's that? Six inches, maybe less, of where the previous wheeling went safe to say it's taken us some years to get to this point.